And this is a CT abdomen case. The patient presents with significantly reduced hemoglobin. At the time of presentation, the hemoglobin was approximately 4. And patient presented with vomiting. So these are the images. Uh, this is the non-contrast CT uh, abdomen. And I would be more focusing towards the pathology. This is the arterial phase of the same patient. And this is the portal venous phase. These are the equilibrium phase images. And these are the delayed images. So I'll start reviewing the arterial phase images first. Now as you can see that there is a lesion which is centered along the fundal region of the stomach and you can appreciate this lesion in this area. And uh, on the arterial phase you can see that there is not much enhancement of the lesion noted because obviously at this time there is no significant enhancement of the, there are no significant enhancement of the other uh, venous structures uh, adjacent to it. Now as I go to the portal venous phase, you can see that there is a very avid enhancement of the lesion which is almost following the same contrast signals as seen in the portal venous system. This is the portal vein and this region is the of that lesion. And now if I browse a bit inferiorly, you can see that this lesion is in connectivity with the vessels along the curvature of the stomach and is communicating with the splenic vein as seen in this region. And further these are then going to drain into the portal vein and what other thing is also seen that there is some lino-renal varices also seen which is showing the drainage of the veins into the renal vein, left renal vein and which is further communicating with the IVC. And secondly, uh, on the delayed phase images, you can appreciate again that the lesion has lost the contrast. It's showing reduced enhancement and is again almost following the enhancement or the attenuation which is seen in the adjacent vascular structures. So this raises the possibility that this lesion is most likely a venous related structure as it is clearly following the signals of the adjacent veins and secondly this other finding which was seen is that there is evidence of portal venous hypertension which is evidenced by lino-renal shunting, significant lino-renal shunting which is also presumably due to a significant uh, port evident, uh, element of portal venous hypertension as well. Uh, secondly, uh, you can also uh, appreciate that the spleen is also enlarged. Uh, so. This lesion, which is in submucosal region of the uh, stomach and uh, showing enhancement patterns following the uh, portal venous system and the venous structures is representative of a gastric fundal varix. And, and ultimately, the upper GI endoscopy was done and this uh, turned out to be an, a large fundal varix and was further referred for a treatment 